when we're shipping just regular software, there's basically two fundamental pieces that you need to be able to pr do production ready software. And that is tests and deployment. Um, and, uh, so that means being able to test your software automatically before you merge a pull request to the main branch, for example. Um, and it means, uh, being able to control which version of software is running in production. So there's these two key ideas of like CI, which is continuous integration, which just means testing your software and, and then CD, which, uh, overlaps with this idea of GitOps, which is um, continuous delivery. And it's like being able to know what version is running in production, roll it back easily and, and, and all that stuff. So then like, okay, probably everyone I'm talking to already knows that because like the CICD is a fairly common idea, but, but the question then is, well, how does it, how does it apply to, uh, to generative AI apps like LLM apps? Um, mm -hmm. and the thing I'm trying to really push on at the moment is to argue that it's basically exactly the same as software. It's just that the definitions of what we mean by testing and deployment are slightly different. Um, and so if you, you, you hear people all the time talking about evals, I, I know, I, I think I saw you had Gideon, Gideon on recently talking yep. about, uh, evals and, and that's great because how you test gen AI apps is just evals. It's like evaluations and, um, and yeah, so my argument is basically to, to do production ready gen AI, uh, with you need CI CD for gen AI, and then we can break that apart, which is the CI piece is, um, well, you do testing, you test your app before you merge a change into the main branch. And then the, the thing that we're trying to kind of make a reality is this idea that the spec for an AI app should just be version controlled YAML, um, and that you could oh. almost deploy it to a Kubernetes cluster, uh, in the same way, um, that you deploy like an ingress, uh, or record or something. And so the, the thing that we're trying to make real that we have this project called AIspec.org, um, is to try and, uh, define a similar spec for how you can define a, a generative AI application, because if you can do that, then the exciting thing is that you can, um, uh, you can manage that generative AI application in exactly the same way that you manage all your software. And why are we doing this? It's in order to make, um, generative AI much more accessible to people who are familiar with, uh, DevOps and, um, and software engineering.